Hello, Fog Ninjas. Welcome back to my broadcast last video. Going to continue the story of Final Fantasy XIV The Legend Returns, Part 4. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, I got music. It seems Wesker has the solitary security well in hand. I, I meanwhile, have discussed the next step with Master Welt and completed my inspection of the site. While a little work, the bam uh, vacant buildings here would be made in. <laughs> Message from Gerald Abram. Apologies for my interruptions, miss, but the general would speak with you at your earliest convenience. Do not feel obligated to wait around on my account. I will remain here to hammer out the finer details with what and act as an intermediary with our business partners in Elba. You should go. Gerald then asked that you wait for him by the main gate of El Negan Quarters. My apologies again, Miss. Fare you well. Starry sky. Apologies for the wait. People are screaming for the butcher's blood again. No sooner have we broken up one mob than another forms. Thankfully, all have been amenable to reason thus far. But it is no concern of yours. We must speak of the men Arenvald and his comrades apprehended in the peaks. By their uniforms, the captives were first nation. Their true identities came to light. I dare say you remember Yu Yuhasi and Laurentius, the fugitives who conspired with Captain Ilbert in the Crystal Braves' betrayal. Mm -hmm. Aye, well, it would seem they followed him all the way to the wall. It was they who orchestrated the slaughter of the resistance fighters prior to the Griffin's infernal ritual. Were it in your hands, how would you punish these men? Their lives would be forfeit. <laughs> I am always a split individual. Like, fucking one side has me is just like, well, they did me wrong. Do them wrong a thousand fold. But another side of me is like, well, all life matters. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Mm. But they were freaking douchebags. <sighs> ah.
I'm a savage. <laughs> Just leave it at that. Hear, hear. There is no more fitting sentence for the perpetrators of such a massacre, and that is but one of their crimes. In any event, I thank you for your honesty. When the time comes for the Alliance to pass judgment, I'll see that your opinion is heard. Well, that concludes our business here. But there is more I would say. Walk with me. This makes me wonder, like, does... Like, will the paths could change, or what? Depending on what you say, it shouldn't even really matter, because it would... I bear a share of the blame for Ilbert's atrocities. Had I openly supported the cause of Alamegan liberation, he might not have felt driven to do what he did. Things could have been different, and I'm sorry they aren't. But even after all that has happened, my homeland is free. With the Scions and the Alliance at their side, my countrymen have reclaimed what many thought lost forever. Under her new leadership, I have every confidence that Alamigo will emerge from the shadow of the Empire and rise once more to greatness. Which means my work here is done. Soon, I will return to Uldar and take my place at the Sultana's side. Father. <laughs> oh, that was easy. I'll not deny there's a part of me that wants to stay. The same part that contemplated renouncing my rank and joining you as a wandering cell sword. But. I pledged my blade to Nanamo, and I will not betray that oath. Is this truly what you want, Father? It is. Ever has my sword been hers to command, and ever shall it remain. Thank you for lending an ear. When all the rest are clamoring for me to stay, I trust you'll send me on my way. He wants to go, so I'll let him go. That look took longer than I intended, but at least you knew where I know where I stand. Now that's settled, I will what's new. We may have a problem, sir. A group of Antonia of and not and not have arrived at the main gates, and I don't mean the Vera these are Qualyana. The ones that summon the primal. They're interesting. They've been. Uh, they'll be allowed to attend the council. At least he's trying to reason with them, but she may need help. Hmm. An invitation was extended to all the native tribe, these tribes, but we assume the Qualia uh, and Na would refuse it outright, or out of uh, it out of hand. We had best go and see for ourselves Pippin. Take command of the forces and be ready for battle. Kimiko, you dealt with the Claudians before. I'd have you at my side. To the skies.
Kimko, Ruba, and Dad, it's good to see you. Ah, the Slayer has come. We have not forgotten how you sinned against the Lady of Bliss, but now did not come here to shed blood. You claim to seek har harmony with all who call Gaela Brena home. If this is truly your wish, you will welcome us to as envoy of the Antana. It is our wish, and you are welcome, but we cannot condone the summoning of primals. If you want to enter the palace, I must ask that you first surrender any crystal jewelry you have. My word that it will all be returned to you when you, the meeting is over. We will do, we will do as you ask, but you will not have our weapons. We are not so foolish to as to place ourselves entirely at the mercy of our tormentors. I reckon that's the closest we're going to get to a compromise, and we will have people standing guard. I let them keep their swords. Then we have an agreement. Lead the way to the, your meeting chamber. Why do I have the feeling we're welcome to Viper into our mist? Yadia's elders' intentions seem at odds with all we know of their tribe. What do you think, Kimiko? The enthralled cannot be trusted. Perhaps even the enthralled can learn to compromise. You believe an understanding can be reached? It is not entirely unheard of. I suppose there are those who followed Saint Sil Sil uh, Sylvia eventually sought rec reconciliation with his guard. Where, whatever the truth, I should take no chance. The guards must be strengthened and uh, identically, or I ideally, with people who know a thing or two with primals. Can we rely on plans? Yes. I'll round up my our comrades and send them to the uh, Alamegan quarters. You go ahead and uh, if you like, can go. My thanks. I will see you in the palace. Later, friend. Thunder and fire! Ah! Brought reinforcements. Nothing had told me that the arrival of an unexpected guest, and I agreed that it would be pre uh, predominant to fall upon the Stola and Tankard as well. 
one can never be too careful when dealing with the pro. I am not familiar with the Comico tribe myself, but at least they reported suggested that uh, they some contact with other races. Despite it, in fact, despised it, in fact, even compared to another Etana. Indeed, this apparent re uh, refusal is an attitude is most curious. No one expected a response to our invitation, much less an envoy, and I imagine this was forced to make some rather hasty arrangements in order to accommodate them. Speaking of which, how should we deploy ourselves? In the meeting, this will be held in the throne room. It would seem wise to have one eyes both inside and outside the palace. Sola and I can thank all the without. That leaves the three of you keep watch with uh, uh, over proceedings in the throne room. It's uh, <clears throat> Understood. You should join General Alliance inside then. Kimiko, you do not know of the rear entrance up to the palace. It's on the eastern edge of the city, at the top of the stairs. The guard there should have been instructed to let you pass. Onward then. Fortune would have it, I was visiting Ralgar's Reese to look um, in Alize's. Alize, she sends her regards. Leave external security to us, Kimiko. I scouted around the palace quite extensively while I was searching for Krill, so I know the layup land. You're with the science, Miss General Adam left orders that you were to be escorted inside. I will. You follow me to the royal palace. Oh, he looks cool, the Korean or whatever. Thank you all for coming. I am Lise Hext, and I speak for the Resistance. Among you are village elders, refugee leaders, envoys from the Ananta and the Kikern. Kakarn? That's how, they're how it's pronounced? Oh. Kakarn. Okay. I've been called pronouncing it so wrong. Okay. You've right, come from every corner of Girabania to help decide the future of Alamigo. But before that, I want to ask you a question. What was the first thing you noticed when you came in? For me, it was that empty throne. It has no one to sit on it now. No viceroy, no king. Would any of you like to take their place? Or should someone else sit there? Then let's sit here in a circle, as equals, and I hope as friends. And so a nation is born! Expertly done. Lise has removed monarchy as a choice early in the game, and positioned them to consider a joint government. All things considered, I would say events have got off to a fine start. Agreed. <laughs> uh, 
And that is Alagana's stance on the matter. Thank you, Regenfrid. Another vote in favor. Next, let's hear from Shanti of the Kaliana. Tell us, Kaliana. how do your people feel about the idea of a republic? Like, Q is... is K now. <laughs> Kaliana. K <laughs> I... Oh, okay. I never, ever, ever. Kaliana. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. The Ananta wish only that those who dwell within Gia Abania devote themselves to our faith. You shall all worship Sri Lakshmi! Lady of Bliss! Grace us once more with your beauteous visage. God damn it. Let me bitch smack this goddess. No crystals were allowed through the door. We can worry about the how of it later. We need to evacuate these people right now, or the primal will make thralls of them all. It's up to us. Do it. Can't be trusted. Ever. Ever. Never again. Yep. You lost my trust. Anybody who's enthralled, never again. Bitch slap you. God damn it! The guards were already turned. Fools! <laughs> Get him! Oh, it's white now. Yeah! No, you don't. The Kalyan. God, leave this outfit. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. So good. Then they're going to be sorely disappointed. We have the Warrior of Light and Arenvold to shield us. Aye, but they can't well defend your guests and attack the Primal, can they? We're stuck on the back foot. Uh, all right, I think I have an idea. Keep these people safe, General. I'll be back as soon as I can. Dodge! Yeah, whatever she's about, you best make it quick. Come then. <laughs> Who will be next to die Peace. on my steel? <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting pumped right now. This is cool. <laughs> Let's bitch slap her. We got this boy. Wait, what? I know how he do a thing. I beat her up before. Going down, bitch.
far. Oh, okay. I get it now. Can I help them out? Oh, good. Why? I offer you peace and serenity. Well, I have to touch her in her. She's not really attacking. Up. Go get anybody. Go get anybody. Go get anybody. Mm. Mm. I say. Woo. Woo. I shall free you from your hate. Oh. Not today. Thank you, dude. That, that was gonna say, you need to be better than that shit. God damn it all! It's only a matter of time before we miss one. Not. <laughs> I like her, but it's just that she's such a bitch. I think that's the reason why I like her. <laughs> Love a love hate relationship with the type characters. <laughs> Good, you guys aren't stupid. Come on, NPC. Come on. To me! Fuck, everybody just like, get the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. Oh no, run! Once you would throw up too, girl. Oh. Oh! Wait, does it work too on here? 
It did nothing. Okay. Others oh, dead. Oh, you bitch. Go again, boys and girls. You ready for part two? It was a waste, though. We do that power. I should just not, not got it. All right. To free you from your hate. Oh, you're talking about. Let's 
try this again. Skip. Alright, this time I won't be stupid. First time I did this shit though. Oh no.
not got there. Why did you? Here it comes. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it. <laughs> One inch punch, motherfucker. I'm only going to say this once. The Ananta just summoned their primal in the throne room. My friends are fighting her, but they need help. They need someone with the Echo, and by the gods, I wish I had it, but I don't. I told you before that you still had time, but things have changed. I need your answer now. You can end it like Xenos, or you can fight for Alamigo. Your choice. For Alamigo, then. <laughs> it's always been for Alamigo. But in their own sense. Seven hells. It's her, the butcher. Getting everyone's memory. Mic drop. <laughs> Picture. Damn it. From too late. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Take me back to my cell. You are not forgiven. Not you. You, I will never forgive. But I will thank you. For standing against a primal and saving us from servitude. You 
have my thanks. Well, fuck him, Kohavid. That was a near thing. I, I stand against the Kula Kuyana. Kuyana. <laughs> Kuyana would have been uh, would have been brief indeed had you not voluntary volunteered for guard duty. We. We'd be enthralled as early as our centuries were. They must have planned this far in advance. Security was my responsibility, and I know how dangerous primals can be. I should have. Gah, it's my fault. My stupid mistake. Nah, lass. We were all caught unawares. We will take this as a lesson and watch our own more carefully in future. You can be sure that the lackeys who smuggled the crystals into the throne room weren't the only thralls in the our ranks. The soldiers who spoke first spoke up in favor of the Koalala keeping their weapons spring to mind. The primal's servant is betrayed by his aurora. If you need to conduct an investigation, I can identify any other acting under Salaka's influence. Thanks, Istola. You'd, you'd appreciate the help. Speaking of help, I almost fell over when Fadora turned up. What was she even doing here? I asked her to come. Well, that explains it then. It's sad, but... Rafael Kud was right. Her victims will never forgive her for what she's done. But I think I don't think the daughter picked up that sword looking for forgiveness. She just want she wanted to fight for her country. If you say the word see the world in which Fadora grew up is partly to blame for what she became, then as an Almiga I, I feel responsible for improving that world. We can't ignore what happened right now. We have to show people a better way than vengeance, or we, or we risk giving birth to a new generation of scrolls. I know it's idealistic, but I don't want to help people to let go of their old grievances and make peace with other each other. And I'll hold a thousand meetings and talks till I'm blue in the face, if that's what it takes. Till it is a long and adventurous path you have chosen, but one well worth walking. Rest assured that I will do what I can to help you reach your destination. Thank you, Alphanod. The first step will be the, to get our representatives back in the throne. They're a little shaken, but not one of them seems ready to run. Well, all determined to finish the, what we started. I will see that you're not interrupt Kimiko. You and the sons are to stand down. Get some rest. You've earned it. Fine spot to contemplate the heavens. The meeting is over. The envoys have chosen to instate a government modeled on Ishgard's House of Commons, a ruling body of representatives elected by the people.
is a fair decision, and one which signals the end of my part in all this. But I would gaze upon Girabania's stars one last time before I leave. Little waddles, so <laughs> cute. Oh, I like them. Forget okay. something. <laughs> Your Grace, I. There was no word. Rabon Aldin. You are hereby dismissed as General of the Immortal Flames, and relieved of your seat on the Syndicate. But... Your Grace... Rabon, I am no longer a child. Stay here in your homeland. Work with your brethren. Rebuild Alamigo. You desire to stand alone? I understand, but remember what happened. I remember full well the consequences of my naivety, and thus did I consult at length with the most trusted advisor ere I embarked upon this course. A most trusted advisor? And what of me? Am I no longer deserving of your confidence? Trust can there be between us when you withhold the truth from me? Did you think me oblivious to the anguish in your eyes when you spoke of returning to Uldar? Oh. For years and years, we have trusted one another. Yet now you refuse to confess your heart's desire? I swore an oath to you that day on the sands. I pledged my sword. And it has served me well. But in Pippin you have forged a new sword, as sharp and deadly as the blade you bequeathed him. I will show you a Sultana who can wield every weapon at her disposal, including Lollorito and his monetarist cronies. So follow your heart, please. You are home. You are free. No, no more. I... Smile for me, Rabon. I would have this parting be a joyous one. Your Grace, it has been an honor to serve you and Ulda. Tomorrow you will serve Alamigo and fight for the good of all Eorzea. Am I understood? Yes, Your Grace.
Correct. Thanks for shielding us from Lakshmi, you two. If you hadn't been there, the rest of us would be worshipping her by now. You're kind to include me, Lise. But we both know who did most of the work. I could scarce keep track of the battle, let alone land the Talindlo. No shame in admitting it. The Warrior of Light has put far better men than me in the shade. Did I mention that I encountered the Sultana in the palace? It would seem her grace has come to Girabania to oversee the final stages of her relocation project. She was in search of General Aldin, and I directed her to the rooftop garden. I do hope he was still there. Are you in the habit of gossiping about the affairs of Royal Tea Master Leveilleur? Le That's how you say it. Le Certainly not, Your Grace. I, I was merely informing my companions. Be at ease, Alpha No, it was only a jest. <laughs> He's like me, he doesn't understand some jokes sometimes. <laughs> But I must yield the floor to Raubon. He has an important announcement to make. <clears throat> As of yesternight, I have been relieved of my post in the Immortal Flames and the Syndicate both. Eh? <laughs> I shall be assuming my father's duties. And may I say that Tizona has never felt heavier upon my back. Towards seem, I am in need of employment. Mayhap one of my old acquaintances can introduce me to a mercenary company or some such. You may be getting on in years, father, but you'd struggle to find a band of sellswords who wouldn't snap your hand off. Your remaining hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the bull of Alamigo need not be put out to pasture just yet. <laughs> your grace has developed a wicked edge to her humor. And you, Pippin, would do well not to laugh when the future may hold the same for you. <laughs> Guys, close your mouths. So, Don't let the flies play. Aye. That seems to be the way of it. I would be glad to aid you in rebuilding our nation. If you'll have me. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> if, he says. <laughs> Welcome home, Raoban. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Though you seem distinctly unsurprised. Either you are more astute than I give you credit for, or I'm losing my touch. In any event, one thing is certain. Alamigo will rejoice at the homecoming of her dearest son.
It seems my road has come full circle. I appreciate the support you showed for my earlier decision. Overruled, though it was. I have asked enough of you, Kimiko. My only words for you now are those of gratitude. I uh, at least must be overjoyed to know that General is only on this day, so I suppose, suppose I shouldn't call him General anymore. Uban is the veteran of a hundred battles, battlefields. Least couldn't ask for a more reliable ally to have at her side. I think it's about time I headed back to Ralgar's Reach. What's next for all of you? Elise will be eager to hear of recent events, so I shall join you if you're no objection. I'd welcome the company. Kimiko, why don't you come along to the Ralgar's as well once you've uh, said your farewell to Nanamo and the others? Upon completion of this quest, you will be uh, able to access pa uh, the palace rooftops garden by speaking to the royal Marad attendant. I must assume father's responsibilities without delay. The last we our rivals both inside and outside Elda treat his dismissal as a window for of opportunity rest assured. They will find Tezonil's edge just as sharp as in my hand. Why is it <gasps> Is Oh step Hold up folks. Is it time for some no it's not adding ionized though? It might not matter. All of a sudden started, that's why I'm like, hmm. Is he around? Is he a boot? Can't see on the map though. Guys, reach.
Big paper. The male version of me. Super the male version of me. One second. Here we are again. Avanad has regated a uh, red gale to me with the thrilling tale of hidden treasure trolls, mid meetings, betrayals, unlike al unlikely alliances, and joyous homecomings. It would seem I missed everything. I was patrolling the palace uh, grounds with Thangrid and Zestola when all we heard the report of a primal in the throne room. I also doubted my own views. As others have said, we were like, lucky to have our Echo of Less champions nearby this time, but we we'll still will need to keep a closer eyes on the Kaliana. Kuyana. What? Well, you can never. You can say that again. This whole episode has reminded me just how far apart our kinds are still are. It looks like centuries of fear and mistrust really can't be washed away in a day, but someone has the, to make an effort at reconciliation if these conflicts are to ever end going to er carrying out for vengeance, but I've been doing my best to calm things down. Violence required repairs will only lead to more summonings. Indeed, violence will ever beget violence, as the Empire has learned to its cost in recent times. In any case, summoning uh, Lux Luxima was the, uh, the brood mother's doing, and whoever replaces her might not be so keen on the idea. We'll just have to watch and wait. Which isn't the way it isn't to say we won't be putting the safety of our allies in the Vera and M tribes first. I plan to have resistance scouts keep uh, keep track of the Kualadunas movements at all times. My parents will be relieved to hear that. What are your plans for the rest of the resistance army? Out of interest, we are we to prepare for Imperial countermeasures? That would be a question for the resistance newest recruit, a military commander with far more experience than than me. What? The Bola Bola Miko? We call it an army, but the resistance is really a collection of smaller independent groups. And when Konad passed his command to me, that authority only extended to the freedom fighters based on Raga's reach. He just happened to be serving as the resistance spokesman at the time and needed someone to take over the whole role while everything was in disarray, but this time has time has passed. When I speak with the other leaders about reforming the armies under the new government, I'll be uh, no, uh, nominating Liban as the overall commander of the, uh, our forces. 
He has more experience than the rest of us put together, and we stand to learn from a lot from him. Indeed, he is all aspects the ideal choice, assuming he accepts the post. Alamigo will have added a formidable weapon to his arsenal. And given the process of Nanamato's uh, resettlement initiative, I see great cause for hope. The seeds which have so carefully sowed have begun to quicken my friends. I like that. He tends tend to our promises and watch as our new opens. Gosetsu! I do give thanks to the Kami that my makeshift rats withstood the ferry of the hot seas. But their... their generosity ends. Without coin in our pockets for new attire, we are doomed to look like a, a so much jet sum. Oh, woes betide the poor man in a city of rich merchants. These dangos are delicious. Will you have one? Hmm? More sweet bread. I surrendered my blade to secure what few coins we have. Talking to a child. My fate saddled me with this sudden burden. I shall know, never know, but I am alive and I must return to my master's side. Come, Betsu. We shall find a ship to carry us across the ruby sea. I want, I want that outfit, but I want to be able to color it. Or dye it, I mean. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. read the reports first Doma and uh, then Alamingo and Lord Zenos put to the sword? I don't do I do not believe everything or do not do not believe everything you read. I, I hear the Viceroy was merely wounded and that he has already returned to the capital. Naturally the savages beat their chest and bore loud layer of taking his head for Dylas. Nay, Lord Zenos lives? Deplorable that that uh, our own officers would be fooled by Yorzian misinformation. Small wonder that province have begun rising up in rebellion. We must prepare an official and uh, official and above all accurate announcement. Well, these pr pronounced rumors. They would wage war with empty so words. Let them pr produce the viceroy's remains. Then, 
we shall soon put the lie to their claims. Who is this white armored person? Is that the girl? Is that it? Am I done already? Holy moly chole go le bo le go le jo le bo le go le Well, seems that I completed the story. I failed. I guess. Okay. Thank you for watching my broadcast on this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. And stay funky.